Today we are going to learn about teeth and kinds of teeth. Hello my dear students. In today's class we are going to discuss about the importance of teeth and the kinds of teeth. What is the importance of teeth? What do you think if you have if you don't have teeth what will happen? Will you be able to eat your food properly? Or will your face will be like this only? Or can you speak properly? Think about it. I know you will come to a conclusion after thinking that the teeth which are present in our mouth helps you to speak clearly. And also the teeth helps you to give a proper shape to your face. And the important thing is that teeth also helps you to chew your food nicely so these are the three basic importance of our teeth so what are they teeth helps you to chew your food nicely the second teeth gives a proper shape to your face third the teeth helps you to speak clearly so student after knowing the importance of teeth let's see what are the kinds of teeth so here on the board i have written we have four different types of food teeth the first one is incisors all of you repeat after me incisors canines canines premolars premolars and molars molars so after knowing the name of these teeth let's see how do they look for that i have made a model of teeth for you all i hope you will love it so with the help of this model i'm going to explain you what are the different type of teeth we have inside our mouth so we have all of you can see one two three four these four teeth are called as incisors they are present in the front of our mouth okay these four teeth are called incisors so here i will write the number incisors okay first of all we have two jaws one is lower jaw and another is upper jaw this these are called the one set this is the another set so we have two set okay so in the lower jaw we have four and in the upper jaw we have four so total how many incisors do we have we have eight so i will write four plus four why four four in the lower and this four for the upper so total eight next is canine here you can see this on either sides of canine we on either sides of incisors we have canine so how many canines do we have in the lower jaw we have one two in the upper jaw we have one two so how many total we have two plus two makes four after canine we have premolars as you can see here one two three four four in the lower jaw one two three four in the upper jaw so total how many we have we have four plus four makes eight so premolars are eight in number next here you can see just after the premolars we have one two three one two three we have total six molars in the lower jaw and one two three one two three six in the upper jaw so how many we have six plus six makes twelve so when you will total all these you will find thirty two so inside our mouth we have thirty two teeth okay, students after knowing the kinds of teeth let us discuss about their functions so the first teeth incisors uh, incisors are also known as the cutting teeth 
Why we call it as cutting teeth? Because here you can see they are present in the front. So whenever we eat anything, first, first by it helps you to cut your food. Okay. Next is your canines. Canines are also known as tearing teeth. Canine teeth help you to tear your food into small pieces. Next is your premolars. Premolars are also known as cracking teeth. Premolars, here they are present, they help you to crush your food into small pieces. Next we have the molars which are present at the back side. These molars also help you to grind or to crush your food into small pieces. Dear students, I hope in this video you have understood about the importance of tea and also the kind of tea. In my next video, I will explain you about the structure of tooth and the microbes.